Hey, I got Seth Ferg yeah. up here. What up, son? Yo, you already know, man. I just got off the plane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm dropping the flame. But it worked, yo. Put them in the dirt. I can't stop saying going berserk. I be, I be looking at bitches like, I be like, going berserk. <laughs> they be thinking I'm fucking stupid or something. <laughs> thinking niggas got Tourette's and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make it clear that the ASAP Ferg name came from, uh, like, your dad or something like that? Somebody, somebody told me there's a Ferg Street in Harlem or something. Yo, it's, like, fucking crazy. It's like, yeah. it should be a Ferg holiday. <laughs> like, it's Mad Fergs. It's me. It's D Ferg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's C Ferg. It's T Ferg. And then it's D Ferg Senior. Come on. And then man. it's Kim Ferg and his mama Ferg, which started all of the Fergs. <laughs> What's up, your dad, man? Your dad used to do all the all the label, like all, all the logos and all back in yeah, the day for Bad do, Boy. Do the silk screen and stuff like Wow. Before, like before everybody was like before niggas knew where to get their shirts done at. Mm. Like he used to do shit for Nikki Bonds and like, wow. like all the motherfuckers. Like everybody in Harlem and shit. Wait, how did this ASAP Rocky thing come along? How did y'all meet up? I mean, that's like the homie. That's my big bro right there. Like, is that a Harlem thing? Like, y'all all know each other, and it's just—it's definitely a Harlem thing. Mm. Like, we grew up like it was me, Rocky, Tiana, ASAP, Bari. It was like Azalea Banks. Wow. Like everybody. Like it was like Young B. Like I'm not sure if you remember her. Let it rain. Clear wow. it out. Oh shit. Like that whole yeah, like fuck. it's like a whole like thing of people that was just doing shit, and like Tiana was one of the first people to actually blow up. Oh wow! So yeah, it's yeah, like, right. damn, like that's the homie, homie. Mm. Like she blew up, you know, did her thing, got signed to Pharrell. Around that time, I was like doing clothes and shit, like, and fucking uh, Rocky pursued his shit. He wanted me to rap. He like, yo, let's be a duo. Get and the I'm fuck like, out of here, I'm yo. not gonna fucking be no rapper. You crazy? <laughs> I said, I'm like, I'm not hearing that shit. Like I'm making money off these belts and shirts and shit like that. Like, <laughs> fuck that rapping shit. And then like. He linked up with, you know, his people and shit like that, and he made it happen. I guess he, he stuck it out. Like, he had it for him, so. Well, you know, hard work pays off, man. Right. Now I see you. You about to do South by Southwest. You, I see you about to be in that big show with Kendrick and everybody on there. Word, man. I mean, this is going to be my second year <laughs> wow. doing South by. Like, I, I was there, you know, um, playing passenger, you know, with, with Rocky or mm. whatnot, but it was just still a great experience. I was sick as fuck out there last year, though, so I ain't really get to enjoy it. Oh, but, for real? Yeah. Oh, shit. But this year, like, I'm going all out. Like, fuck you had? Yeah, oatmeal or something, man? What happened? My man? nigga, we was on tour for about three months. Oh, okay. And yeah. you know how that shit go. We, Damn. we went on tour, and then we came home for a day, and then had to fly back out there to um do Texas. So it's back to back. It's back to back. Like I mean, like we was chilling. Like Wiz is like Ferg, and I'm like, what up? Because I'm fucking all sick and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Mac Miller, Big Sean, and you know everybody was out there and shit. Niggas just talking about like Wiz was telling me how he knew like all my freestyles and shit. Oh wow! Shout yeah. out to Wiz, man. <laughs> He's actually a fucking true hip hop head. You know, he smokes tons of weed and he's yeah. all fucked up. You know, he got a bad bitch, but he really knows his hip-hop, though. Yo, yeah, I fuck with I fuck with him heavy, man. That's like, crazy. Just because he's a genuine guy, and you don't really get that in this game yeah. like that. Like, a bunch of people that's genuine, and, you know, they keep it true. We got to get into this work right now, man. We got to just bump this shit. Put them like, in the dirt. You're going to make me feel like full mass of flex right now, <laughs> You know what I mean? You got to be going, yeah. <laughs> these bitches out here, man. How's the reaction out there when you perform? It's, like, out of control? Is, Yo, it, like, is it, like, a mob deep feel? Like, remember when... When uh, uh when Mob Deep had that record, uh what was that shit he had out? When everybody was killing each other, fucking uh everybody was killing each what's other. What's the biggest Mob Deep record that was out? No, not quite Shook Storm. Ones. No, Shook Ones. When Shook Ones came out, motherfuckers was like going crazy. I it? think I was kinda young at that time. Yeah. Remember, I'm a young nigga, bro. Oh, you probably was a sperm <laughs> when that came out. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> nah, yeah, but um I'm sorry, man. People definitely go ham, like they go stupid. Like, I mean, was like a, like a mosh pit or uh, bitches? Everybody go crazy. Everything, like I, I experienced, like you know, the clubs, niggas popping bottles, standing on the couches, yeah, type wow. shit. Yeah. And then I experienced white boys in dirty vans <laughs> going ham, throwing beer on each other, and just having mad fucking fun. Girls flashing titties and shit like that. And you must have a lot of football player fans, yo, because every yo, club I DJ, them football players be OD'd, man. Word? What? They be like, yo, they be buying like 30 bottles and go crazy, shirts oh, off. Oh, man, I can't wait. <laughs> yo, I cannot <laughs> wait, bro. I didn't experience that yet. Holy shit, man. Yo, yo I, I, I brought a Gucci sweater, but I, I thought I'd leave it in my closet for, you know, for oh, this man. interview, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> we should have won. It? It's fly. <laughs> what's, this, what's, fly. what's this I'm hearing with the trap lord and, you know, like, you know, he's trap god. Is that real or that's just like some miscommunication? I think it's a it's a miscommunication. You think it's like, you know, Gucci smoking weed, he's just like bugging and then, you know, you, you responded in Twitter too or? I don't know what Gucci is doing. <laughs> <laughs> You've always had Trap Lord. That, that was your title, right? Exactly. You weren't influenced by right. him I mean, screaming. If you, yeah. if you look at the date on um the work video. Okay, okay, okay. And you see Trap Lord Productions in the front of that video. Oh, wow, okay. All right, and that's it. Oh, okay. So you that, know, explains that, that, that explains it all right exactly. there. Exactly. Oh, when is, what's up with Trap Lord? Who, who you got on there? When's that coming up? Um, I know it's like uh, you know it should be like summer. It better be summer, man. There's gonna be some very rare uh, features on there. Oh, bro. <laughs> it just it just happened. The uh, the Lord Himself just dropped these features on me. What? Yeah, I, I might I might have a little bit of Bone Ooh. Thugs on there. Nah, come on, man. You serious? Just the name. You, you know got Bone man. Thugs before ASAP. Come on, man. Before Definitely. Rock, I might have a little. <laughs> I might have some beats from Very Rare on there. Wow. I'm going to have something from Clem's Casino on there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do it very legendary <laughs> right now, bro. I mean, I, I'm not going to leak it, but the work remix, what is that coming out, man? I heard that the, it's, it's, it's out of control. It's going to be stupid. Just know this. <laughs> I got, just know this. I got a new verse on there. I'm not being lazy. Oh, yo, so you're not putting the same verse? <laughs> nah. I was not being lazy. I was going to keep my same verse on there, and I said, fuck that. These okay. niggas trying to bury me on my own song. Oh, for real? I said, I ain't, I ain't having that. I got a body, niggas. Oh, so you went extra. <laughs> I went. I wrote. I wrote. I wrote four four different verses for that shit. Nah, bro. I swear to God, I Get wrote four different. Out of yeah, here. I was just like, nah, because you know what? The fucking the the tempo and the and and the, the shit was so catchy. Okay. It's like hard to come up out of that like that rhythm of rhyming, mm. like the work song. Like everybody did that flow, so I'm like, I can't do this flow again. So you fucking I gotta flipped switch. It. Yeah, switch the flow. Wow, up. But it's crazy though. It's like work times ten. So y'all working work right now heavily. Yeah. And then y'all got to just shoot everybody in the face with that shit. Foot, face, everything. <laughs> However you want it. Who shot you? Separate the weak from the... Ooh, yeah. You feel me? Classic, yo. Yeah. Rest in peace to Biggie. <laughs> and, yo, I'm so happy for it, man. First album, man. He's doing very well. He's out there going Word, crazy. Man. How does that feel, man? You, your boss is chilling? or Is he considered your boss or he's your partner? I mean, he's definitely the boss of this right now because yeah. he, he kicked the door down and... Um, he does have say so and you know what we do. I mean, but at the end of the day, it's really like we when it's my turn, I'm gonna be a boss. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll be able to tell the team, yo, you could do this and do that. So everybody steps up and all of that, because we all, you know, pass the baton to whoever's next. Because ASAP Mob is a is a huge click, man. It's some Wu Tang shit. So definitely you had, some you, you had to shit. fight your way to be second then. Did you have to do that or um not necessarily? Or was it mapped out like that? It wasn't mapped out like okay. that. It was on some shit like, yo, Rocky's out. Niggas got to work. And I was on it. I was just extra on it like, yo, what I have to do? What? Because I, cause I ain't going to lie. I was trash. Like, I was dumb trash. Okay. I, I wasn't rapping. Like, I was doing, like, some whole other next shit. <laughs> oh, so, shit for real? Get yeah, out of here. Like. So, <laughs> yeah, like some whole other shit. So it's like when I when I started again, I had to develop my style. I had to figure out who I wanted to be in this rap game mm. and figure out, like, um, where what what's my place so like you know i would i would like rock rocky told me yo you gotta start listening to rap again get out because i bro. stopped because it was like i was just i was just listening to old school shit like i said i was just listening to ready to die mm. shit like that like old mary j blige shit <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i got an old show so he like yo, you got to start listening to it for the sport of it again oh, and then that's when i started going in on the freestyles and like trying to body niggas like for real wow, for real man. so like you know, that was around the time I was just like, my working ethic went out the roof because it's like, yo, I really want this now. Mm. So that's what happened. Those, Especially coming from Harlem with those battle circuits. Like, do you, yeah. just, do you respect those guys that's out there that's heavily, like, constantly killing niggas in the streets for money and then they film them? And I used to be one of them guys. Yeah. That's the funny shit. Like, like way back when I was down with a crew called Harlem Envy. That's when I first met Rocky. Okay. Because he was down with a crew called Million Dollar Babies. And we both was like running around Harlem. And so shit. you went through the murder mooks and all the. Yeah, like I knew them niggas. Like we was like younger, but like I knew them. We wasn't battling for money, but like we'd yeah. go to different hoods and shit like that mm. and like get them. Like we had like, I'll be like the vicious nigga. <laughs> like, like battling, like don't fuck with me battling. Yeah, you might I'm, I, I was always up. good on some 
battling shit. Like my songwriting game had to get up, but like I was on some like I had to, you know, I was going crazy battling. <laughs> Cause niggas used to just be on like YouTube watching all these Philly rappers, watching uh like motherfucking who uh Meek Mills, Reed yeah. Dollars, yeah. Kaboom, yeah, exactly. Like all of these cats, like we grew up on them, like and out there they treat they take battling to a whole nother level. That's just like that shit like boxing <laughs> out there because they so passionate about it. It's like it's like huge now. Exactly. So I'm glad they they turning it into a sport and um you know shout out to everybody that's doing it and making money off mm. of it. Yeah. But was that ASAP uh, Rocky's idea to create the mob, or y'all all was already that? He wasn't the creator. Oh, for real? I wasn't the creator. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a guy named Haiti and ASAP Yams and Bari that created ASAP. Me and Bari, I mean, me and um Rocky joined like two years after. Wow, serious? Yeah, I we're not even... the creators of that <laughs> Yo, shit. Yo, that's the fuck, I didn't even know that. That's crazy. Yeah, and it wasn't even a rapping thing. It was a fashion, get fly, fuck bitches thing. <laughs> Yo, I like that, man. Yeah. <laughs> shit, I'm a yeah. business y'all be fucking out there. <laughs> 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 y'all probably fuck all our residuals, man. All the shits we used to fuck on the road. Y'all probably just moisten them chicks, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all of that. Get all of that. Holy shit. But dealing with Rocky, he does like trap. He does yeah. like house. He does like I yeah. mean, he's really like, but he but he brings his lyrics to that yeah. open format shit. Rocky been like that. Like if you go back and you watch our, our first video, Get High, the the um the instrumental is a danger mouse and CeeLo Green. Yeah, exactly, yep. So he been on some different shit like Santa Go, mm. MIA, like like really listening to what they saying. Cause I used to listen to that shit too, but I used to listen to it like on some like this is dope. It sounds dope, but yeah. he really know the he words to that, that shit, shit. exactly. <laughs> yep. But then he really know words to like a old Rod Kim song or oh. like a old Bone Thugs spitting fast and all that break down everything in that shit. Damn, so man. he's really like a carnivore to hip hop. Like me, like I was, I got an old soul, so I'm, I'm more like I listen to the songs I like, like, but I'll be listening to like some R and B shit because I grew up like around like my pops, my mom. So like, say my mom's just fucking getting her hair braided or something like she's that, singing or blasting, she some shit. blasting some motherfucking Mary J. Blige or some <laughs> shit, and my pops is blasting like Puff Daddy and the Family. Like, Get out of here, bro. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so <laughs> weird, that's some ill shit right there. Word up. Rumors had it. You want to do a song with Fifth, man. What's up with that, man? Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy because 50 is one of my idols. That's crazy, yeah. Yeah, because like when he came out, I feel like when he, when he came out, all odds was against him. Yeah. Like he was supposed to be dead, point blank, period. Mm. Like he got shot nine times. Yep. Like he's supposed to be gone. Um, Columbia dropped him. Mm. Like they did not want him to prosper. Then he got cock blocked in the industry for like, Exactly. Niggas about. didn't want to fuck with him because he was a real gangster. Mm. So it's like all of them things like right there, it's just like kind of how I felt coming in the game. Not that extreme, but it's just like I felt like it was kind of designed for niggas not to prosper. Like all odds was against me. My style was different. Like mm. niggas saying like I'm not feeling this shit. Like I'm not feeling. If you go all the way back to like the first comments and work, <laughs> niggas is like yo, why the fuck he shot a video to this song? Yeah. Like, this shit is whack. This shit is garbage. Yeah. But then I told I told like everybody like yo, watch everybody start sucking dick. Yeah. Like <laughs> watch when they, this shit is fire. Like I be knowing my shit fire. Like nigga that can't deny my shit. Yeah, can't, my shit man. fire. <laughs> my shit fire. I'm gonna come clean. Word. What's next though, man? Can you, can you leak the the title of the next fucking banger, or is it is it under wraps? You got like some. Little... I mean, like I mean, the people when I fucked your bitch. That that's next. The, the <laughs> people when I when I fucked your bitch. So, you know, I feel like a lot of guys can relate to that. A lot of bitches can relate to that. How does it feel that you know your boss and uh, Kendrick was like the two big albums last year, man? Yeah, that's good because Kendrick is like that's our brother. Like TDE mm. is our like brother. Like fam, like that's family right there. Wow, like when crazy. when we see them niggas, they throw up ASAP with us. Wow, it's ASAP Q. It's not Schoolboy Q. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? It's K Dot. It's Dot. When I see Kendrick, like you feel me? It's like the normal, like you know, you see like the Drakes and the Lil Wayne's and the Rosses. So you guys, did, was that created? Um, did y'all put that together or it just organically popped off? You know, how these guys all linked up and they do songs together, and then it, it, they do hit records, but it's always the same. You see, Two Chains, Drake. You know, like Rick Ross, Drake. Right. Like, did you guys create that movement also? Because you you know you got your own shit popping. I think it was just us being ourselves, and then like you know everybody just kind of draw themselves to it. Like, okay, I I really can I I could own that up to Rocky because 
like you know you had the little bees and you had yeah. like you know you know a lot of bunch of like people before that that kind of like started like the bass movement and like the the cloud music and shit with Clams Casino doing production mm. but Rocky took it and he made it flourish like he made it a a kind of like a genre for real like he put it out there so like it's like you got the, the the nigga who made it and then you got the nigga that take it to where it's supposed to be at and Rocky was that nigga and now he's like the leader of the new school which is like you know everybody that's doing this new shit 